Yeah, okay, so that's it. <laughs> okay, cool. Hi, welcome to Maker's Department YouTube channel. My name is Fabio. So lately, in the last couple of years, we have experienced some creepy times. And uh, these have affected, affected us all, including our businesses and how we operate. So because of these, we have been um, working really hard and trying to uh, reconnect with businesses around, um, around our neighborhood and uh, really trying to push for uh, locally made uh, products and uh, establishing uh, close relationships with uh, our peers uh, that work nearby us. So that lately motivated us to know more about the local businesses and then we basically started to search for these businesses and, and look uh, and ask them if we could visit them and, talk and have a chat. So the project that we're currently putting on together is called Maker's Map. And uh, what we are aiming to do is to create a very comprehensive list um, of businesses around East London uh, for start. And we may expand in the future and actually show uh, a sneak peek of what they do. So we have every time we visit them, we actually record some videos and see how they work. And, and then we post these on TikTok and uh, also Instagram. So if you do feel interested to follow us on any of those channels, please see the link below for TikTok, for Instagram. So I'll let Hannah now um, to, to run through some of the, the places that we visited and I um, hope you enjoy. Cool beans. Welcome, Hannah. Hi. So <laughs> Hannah has been working with us for uh, now uh, over two years and uh, uh, she has been the core of these research that we're doing. So I'll let Hannah uh, just go through the, some of the cool places that we've been. Yeah. So we visited, I think, 14 local businesses since we started this. So the first place we visited was Calvert's Design and Print in Oval Space, which offer in-house digital offset lithography and risograph printing, and also a range of binding finishes, things like that. So they work with other businesses to provide their printed materials. Cool. Um, and then we also visited another printer who only uh, specialise in risograph printing, which is... Risso what? Risograph. 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 Wow. Yeah, and it's single. Some complex. It, complex. Name. It's single color or dual color, but that one's single. Yeah. And then they print it in masters, and um, and then like layer it up to create some really cool prints. Yeah, really they're nice really cool. Stuff. They look very vintage. Yeah, like retro. More, also. Yeah, retro, and um, at the same time, quite. Uh, I guess trendy now, right? Yeah. yeah, and they sell like designs and prints and stuff, and they also make some really cool lamps out of the old cartridges. So mm -hmm. instead of they don't throw anything away. So upcycling, guys, upcycling. Yeah, it's a way to go. Um, and then from the two D printing, we've also got three D printing. So we went to Fab Pub, um, and that was incredible. They do three D design printing, laser cutting, engraving. Um, I and personally they... was amazed by that. Like those guys are like. On another level they do yeah. some crazy stuff and they, they do ceramic and clay printing as well which is yeah. super cool if, um, they, if you guys don't know like what um, um, grasshopper is 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 a, is a very cool piece of software that lets lets you actually create very interesting paths based on lines of code and uh, the guys use these as a base for them to control the 3d printers as opposed mm -hmm. to like a, an off-the-shelf sort of program that translates cards into 3D printing, they just go, boom, get the machine to do whatever the, the grasshopper says, which, yeah, it's, it's insane. It's really cool. And they, they've got massive 3D printers as well, and they've 3D printed some, like, stools that we sat on. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, pretty cool. We also went to Batchworks as well, and they use um, recycled and sustainably sourced materials and 3D print and to design and manufacture using that. Yeah, there's some nice sort of objects right yeah like, like consumer products really nice like simple nicely designed stuff yeah, it's, yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. cool um and then so obviously 3d printing is pretty new um we've also visited james hoyle and son who are a, an ironwork foundry um and they have been around since 1880 which is crazy yeah, yeah, yeah. so they do sand casting to, to make ironwork so for example things like gates fences but they, they did so many things and they showed us all the, the patterns that they have and the process and it was, yeah, pretty crazy. Yeah. It was really cool to see such an old process that's still being used and still a really good way of manufacturing mm. stuff. So. so all these businesses are very close by the, um, 
Broadway Market area. Mm. Uh, so there's a really cool um, food market on Saturday morning. Oh, yeah. Really nice. <laughs> Food, yum. Saturday morning. Um, and we also went to Columbia Road as well, and we had a look around the design shops. Flower around. market on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the flower market is lovely as well, but we didn't go to the flower market. But um, yeah, we went and had a look around the shops around there, and um, we sort of stumbled across Solid Floors, which is a bespoke wooden flooring company, mm. and they have got some really cool stuff going on. So they have sort of displays of the what the like flooring could look like in panels, yeah. and they say every few years they get new ones because you know I guess like wear and tear and mm. uh, sunlight. So they are looking to repurpose those old wooden things and make something from them. So that's something that maybe we could collaborate on in the future, yeah. which would yeah. be cool. Um, and we also visited Nelly Duff as well, which is an art gallery on Columbia Road, and they just had some really cool stuff. And even the stairway had like paint on the stairs, and like a the banister was a measuring tape, and it just was like a really cool place. Mm. Um, yeah, and we've been to some cool workplaces as well. So there's Containerville, Hackney Depot, places around Oval Space, and it's really the creative community that they make of all these different small independent businesses all sort of together is really nice yeah when you have issues with the supply chain then the shipping containers get used to make offices in london <laughs> yeah well exactly i mean shipping containers have lots of uses um yeah then one of the last places we went to was the museum of the home uh and that was really cool to see how homes have changed through the ages based on design trends but also sort of uh, manufacturing methods at the time as well and it was just yeah it was a really cool opportunity to sort of have an insight into the past it's very like time capsules to different eras which is really cool cool and the last thing we've done which was just this morning actually was we went to the library of things in Dalston but they have multiple across London uh, a cool one in Hackney Wick as well um, and basically they are sort of a community initiative where you can borrow things like tools, power tools, gardening equipment, even like a pasta maker, but you can borrow it for by uh, the day and for like really cheap, reasonable prices. You just type in your email, reserve things, and then the lockers pop open, you can borrow it and take it back. Yeah. Um, and it's just a really nice way of, instead of just everyone buying things that they might only use once or twice, uh, or they don't know how to upkeep it and things like that it's just all there for you to use um, yeah this just really cool. remind me of a cool book in case you guys are interested it's called the mesh all about these models of like sharing sharing economy sharing products across the community yeah so um really interesting subject as well um apart from the ones that we mentioned already like 3d printing upcycling recycling um and yeah so guys, if you guys want to share uh, love, just share the map with your friends and family, anyone that is maybe interested in this stuff, either if they are local or if you are across the world and you may be interested in what's happening here in this side of the world, maybe it's interesting. Also, if you have <laughs> if you have places to recommend that you know anywhere local, just drop us a message. Definitely. Um, we definitely love to meet people, hear about processes and um, yeah, we'll record some little videos as well. Definitely. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we'll leave Hannah now, but we'll see Hannah in the next few months to do uh, an update to the Makers Map, and so that we have a few more places added there. Um, yeah, cool. Thanks, Hannah. Great. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Get out of I look forward to see you in the next episode. Follow us and uh, like the video if you can, and also check our uh, YouTube shorts. We have been. I've been having a lot of fun recording a lot of uh, uh, product research um, that we actually use for internal purposes and then we actually post them there uh, on, on social media for you guys to also see what, what we are interested about. And see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.